can't stand right over here. Alright guys, I'm under arrest. I'm not going to leave the thing recording while you're being arrested. Okay. It's, I don't have a single problem with you recording everything. I'm going to get arrested. Is warrants or something else? From where? You don't have any tickets on me at all? When was the last ticket you seen where there was a warrant out? You don't have any open tickets with us right now. Your last ticket you had with us was 2019. And when was when was that finalized? Like when was that dismissed, settled? 2022. In 2022. But I was arrested in 2023 for a parent traffic ticket out of Fort Worth. Yes, ma'am. This is the right place. Yes. Okay, I was just making sure they wasn't giving me false information. Was all I. You have a records request I could fill out, ma'am? Yeah. Thousand Calvert Street for those records. Um, they're just sending you in circles. So they're, they're giving people false information. It happens the, every day. They, you have to take it to, to, you want my name? I'll be happy to tell you. I didn't ask your name. I just I, asked I, for the. I'm telling you what my name is. I didn't ask for your name, ma'am. I just asked. Okay, that's fine. R I C H I E. Okay, ma'am. And like I was saying, I was just wanting to and turn a records request in, was all. What's going on, everybody? You got some more bad news coming to you out of Fort Worth today. So, as you guys may have saw in my last video, I was falsely arrested by the Fort Worth City Marshals. There was no offense report ever taken, no record of my arrest, and there was no warrant out when I was taken to jail. Well, now that I'm going to file some records request, and we're probably going to be suing them pretty soon, uh, now they've become extremely combative at the front desk. I had called the marshal's office myself and was transferred and transferred two or three times after that and was sent to this place. And uh, I filed records requests to this place before and they get extremely combative with me this time. It appears as though they're not going to try to release anything. And uh, I have the culprit's picture right here for you so you guys can see it. And uh, who's telling them what to do is the county judge. I even have a clip I'll show you guys after this of the county judge saying he's going to target people who film law enforcement and uh, likes to call them names, actually. And uh, here's a picture of him and his ugly wife at a football game, something he'll never be big and strong enough to ever play in. And uh, if you guys have never seen him, he's about 5'4", 110 pounds, about the size of a small woman. This guy has taken money and gave it to law enforcement, millions of dollars from the homeless. This guy has even targeted homeless people, y'all. But uh, we'll go ahead and get into the video after this short clip. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Smash that thumbs up. If you haven't, subscribe already. Let's get into it. Government's number one job is to protect your God-given rights. And number two is to keep you safe. I'm going to go ahead and stop him right there real quick. First of all, we don't have any rights here since you've been county judge. We can't even access public records, which if you watch my channel, you've seen that happen several times. Second of all, the Supreme Court already ruled government nor police have any legal obligation to keep you safe. So that's two lies already. Let's keep it going. And so all this law enforcement bashing that irresponsible media nitwits are doing uh, and some politicians Irresponsible nitwits, huh? So kind of like the marshal that took me to jail when I didn't have a warrant and there was no arrest record kept and there was no offense report done. Irresponsible like that. And I guess the people that stand for our freedom and prosperity, they're nitwits now. I mean, look at you. You look like a complete idiot. We are now reaping what they have sown. So it's harder than ever to retain law enforcement professionals. Yep. It's harder than ever to recruit them. We're down people in the sheriff's department, both in the jail. And guys, this is how I know we're winning because the more we expose the truth and we point the cameras at the problems, now you got people wanting to quit, resigning early, not wanting to join it because we really have sick, evil people running things here. This person, like I said earlier, took money from the homeless to give to law enforcement shortly after 
we had a member of law enforcement kick out a disabled veteran for speaking to the representatives about child pornography put in our public schools here. These people are sickos. And in operations, patrol, the law enforcement side, uh, we're having to do a lot of things to get creative and bring kind of business entrepreneurial type ideas and solutions to fix the problem. And one of those solutions is arrest people that speak the truth without an arrest warrant, without an offense report for basically nothing. And then whenever you file a records request, then get combative with them and not give them public records. That's the solution, huh, Tim? You and your wife need to get your bags and get out of here and go back to Farmer's Branch. Oh, that's right. They done ran you out of Farmer's Branch, too, because you made an ass of yourself there. We're getting it fixed. We're going to get it fixed. But it's because of all that that went on where it's now harder than ever to find people that are willing to do it. We are supporting law enforcement. We are funding law enforcement. We just passed what I believe is the largest increase in the pay of law enforcement in the history of the county. I expect us to do that again. And there you have it, folks. Your rent's going to go up. Your house and prices are going to go up. Everything's going to go up to fund more law enforcement. They're even going to go after the homeless to fund more law enforcement here. It's a total disaster what we have as county judge, but that's all I'm going to say about him for right now. Let's get into the video and watch how combative these people get when I'm trying to request public records here. Uh, hello, ma'am. Uh, I had called today, not here, but to the uh, marshal's office, uh, and they told me to get called Mansfield Jail in regards to a records request as it uh, pertains to the jail, the city jail. You guys hold those records here? Mm, uh, you know, I had a list of things I was wanting to go over, you know, as it pertains to the marshals and uh, the city jail. For the city jail? Yes, ma'am. So are you requesting, like, any records? Yes, ma'am. This is the right place? Yes. Okay, I was just making sure they wasn't giving me false information was all. Uh, you have a records request I could fill out, ma'am? Yeah. Uh, cool. uh, what kind of record it Requests are you wanting? Is it uh, for you or? Yeah, it's for me. You know, I have a list of things on here. Uh, radio transmissions from the patrol cab uh, of an officer. I'm going to have the dates and times of the arrest, uh, visual and audio video of the jail uh, while I was incarcerated there, excluding, oh. let me finish, excluding uh, strip search areas and uh, bathrooms. So you're wanting like the, like the body cameras and Yes, ma'am. The cab, uh, radio, uh, transmissions, any type of 911 calls, police report, visual and audio uh, video from inside of the uh, jail downtown beside the county jail, and uh, any type of if my name was searched uh, with their mobile computer. What's that? Do you have the report number? Uh, no, ma'am, I don't. I would, that'd be also another one I have uh, listed I need to look into. Report number, police report, 911 call, everything as pertains to this. I also want to request uh, the name of the officers involved, the names of the officers involved, and uh, if they were, I'm you before. Yeah, I'm here to do a records request. Like I was telling her, um, I had called the marshals this morning, and uh, they had to do with us. The marshals' office. Nothing. So they told me to come here for the records. So I guess they gave me false information then. I, don't, I wouldn't know because we do records. It's just for the city. Okay, well, this is also pertains to the city jail. The jail is not ours. That's that's the county. You have a no. county jail and you have a t jail for tickets, don't you? I don't know about the tickets. In Texas, you have two jails. You have a city jail. You have a county jail. A county jail is where they send the people with Class B misdemeanors and above. The city jail is for Class C misdemeanors, which is like traffic tickets. That's where I was taken. Anybody with half a brain knows that, especially if you're working in government and law enforcement. How do you not know that you have a city jail? That's the jail that I'm looking into. It's not for a criminal offense. It's for an alleged. That would be the municipal court. The well, I call, like I said, I called the. <laughs> Let me explain it to you. Okay. The only part we would have 
is what is for like offenses and for uh, accident reports. Offenses, okay. Okay. And it would have to be a specific offense that you were requesting. Now, you can do formal open records request, but that's done through email, and I can provide you with that information. But you guys don't do, we've done Freedom of Information Act requests here before. I can't get now, guys, I have been in the same exact building before and did public records requests by paper and got records from this. I have I have a whole video of it to show you guys. I'll leave a link to that video in the description, but I believe this lady's not being truthful, and I think the marshals are not being truthful about what happened. Not here. I have, yes. I've been here and filled out records requests and got records from here before. That's just a regular records request. That's not a... a formal open records request because i had called the marshal's office is located at the municipal court their phone number indicates that anyways <laughs> so whenever i called and spoke with them this morning they had told me to call the old mansfield jail which i did and then they transferred me to uh, the records department there and they said you're gonna have to go to 1000 calvert street for those records they're just sending you in circles so they're they're giving people false information it happens that, every day they okay. Over here for, and you're and you're saying as it pertains to video inside the jail, that would uh, be the county. The, inside the city jail, not the county jail. Right. But once we arrest them and we take them to the jail, then it automatically becomes part of LaSalle. They're the ones that operate the jail. And uh, you know, the only part that we okay. Have well, I'm gonna go ahead and do one then because you know. You, you guys are telling me one thing, the marshals are telling me the other, so I'm going to go I'm ahead and do a records request. Our portion of it. All right, can I fill out a records request, please? Yeah, you know, that our records. I understand. There's false information given, uh, being given out, so I just want to do a records request now. We don't do records I mean, what kind of records do you I've, want? I've been here before. I have a list of things I'm going to request. And I'm just saying, I need to know specifically what report it is because it, I it was. It, Guys, at this point, I think this lady's just fishing for information. Uh, she doesn't have the intention to really help with anything. And uh, we have been to this building before and filed records requests without a problem. And uh, now all of a sudden, when there's evidence to show that the marshals arrested people without warrants, now it's a problem uh, doing the records request all of a sudden. It was it pertains to a arrest that happened for apparently a city traffic ticket. And as... I would look more into this. There was never a warrant whenever I was arrested. So now I'm trying to figure out what's going on behind this. Cause we got people getting taken to jail that don't even have warrants now. And I was sent here. I just want to do a records request and that's all. Okay, but I'm just saying. Well, just, I'm being given false information. So I'm going to start here and then we'll go from there. I'm not saying you, but according to you, they're giving me false information and I'm going to be here today to fill out a records request. Okay. You, that's why I'm trying to get you to understand, sir, is that I can only give you records for a specific report. I'm not asking for all that. I'm just asking to do a records request is all. You just okay. get the records request for me. I'll fill it out and turn it in, and that's all I want to do. But we don't take formal open records requests. You guys have in the past. I mean, I don't see No, what... sir. We yes, not. you have. I Where's the charge? So they gave her two charges? Is that what Possession of a gram? No, this, for all these at 614, these are all the ones that were on site for this one. Oh, somebody was arrested for possession of a gram. Okay, so, and I don't know, is this one that's been with the police department five years? And I have, they've never taken them here. This lady is lying her ass off. You guys just watched a clip, and I have the whole video of it in the description if you guys want to look at it. This was less than five years ago, and we were filing records requests here. They just don't want to give out the records that I'm asking for. I'm just telling It even you. says here on your thing, public re information is records that are written, produced, collected, and assembled or maintained under. So it says they, the, you guys do produce. Have to submit a <laughs> you do produce records, apparently. Records request to this email address. That is who does our formal open records request. Now I can. So no more paper requests here. Hold then. on one second. I'm not trying to be uh, 
controversial. I just want to file a records request is all. With a tracking number on there, I need it stamped. Do you have a record number that you're looking for? Or what well, that, and you know, I was about to say to her, that's interesting you asked me that because I was arrested. Fill this out and take it down to 200 Texas Street. That's the, we do not take these back here. So you do have a written form? Yes, we have Okay, I was right. But you, you have, would have to fill it out and you would have to physically submit it by, by snail mail or you could go to 200 Texas Street. But they're not. There you go, guys. Send it through the mail. So that way they can claim they never got anything and months and months go by and you'll be asking about it. And before you know it, they won't have any more records in their system as it pertains to this because it already expired. But uh, they're trying to divert me from getting public records is what it is at this point. I'm not going to turn around and hand you back the reports that you want. This is just a request for it. And just to be clear, I'm not requesting any information as it pertains to the county jail. I'm, I'm requesting information as it pertains to the city jail. And I'm trying to tell you that we do not have anything here that has to do with the city jail. And I understand you telling me that, but to what the marshals are basically telling me. The marshals do not know what we do here. The marshals are giving out false information then according to you. So that's that's why I said I was going to just go ahead and file one here. You want to say, you can say because that. here's the thing is I go over there and then they say, well, they don't know what they're talking about over here. And, that, and that's part the of the problem I'm having. don't have anything to do with the city. It's two different entities. That's the county and we're the city. And you said the city jail we is under the county too, but I don't believe it. Personally here in records department do not have anything to do with the city jail and what they do over there. Okay. So you're saying take this request, turn it into 200 Texas Street. And what office is this at 200 Texas Street now? The city hall. Oh, this is the city hall? Okay. It's the city secretary's office. Already. And what was the question you asked me earlier, ma'am? Uh, I was going to answer it. Do you have a specific report number? Uh, no, I don't. And here's the reason why is because I was taken to jail by the marshals and was released. The cell security had told me uh, there was never a warrant for my arrest. I go to the municipal court to look into this to when the last time I had a warrant was. They're saying in 2022, I was arrested in 2023 for a ticket. They said they have no record of my arrest there either. And I'm here now, and uh, they're, apparently they're giving false information out on the phone. They told me to come here. That's why I said, look, I'll come down here, file one. I'll, I'll go wherever I need to go to file one. But I need to know what's going on inside of this jail and why they're arresting people that don't even have a warrant. So I'll fill this out. And uh, you care to make copies of this? I just want to have some on record I filed here. You said, so I can't turn it in at all? You can't take any re uh, records request here. We cannot take any office that's interesting because I, I believe i have video of me being here filing written forms uh for records uh, request no. okay well i'll take this to city hall and uh i'd appreciate if you guys took it just so that way i had a copy that i turned something in but you're saying you can't no longer do that okay well i guess i'll work on that uh email and i'll take this to city hall now this will be the third fourth place i've been referred to Yeah. Now, guys, this is after I fill out the records request. I'm coming back up to the desk to turn it in. And when the lady you seen earlier comes back out, she completely loses it. Now, I know some people are real friendly with them and they think they're your friend, but these people are trying to hide information and they're arresting people that don't even have warrants. These are very dishonest people we're dealing with here, folks. Ma'am, I'd like to turn this in and uh, get a stamp copy. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am, I'd like to uh, turn this in and get a stamp copy of it. I couldn't hear you. I'd like to turn this uh, records request here in no, and uh, get a stamp. I, I can't take them. You can't take records request at all? No, yes, sir. It, you have to take it to, to, you want my name? I'll be happy to take it. I didn't ask your name. I just I mean, asked for the. I'm telling you what my name is. I didn't ask for your name, ma'am. I just asked. Okay, that's fine. R-I-C-H-I-E. Okay. Now, guys, notice she didn't even take the time to read what I was requesting. She just automatically says, no, I'm not taking it. What does that tell you? She doesn't even know what I'm requesting. Hey, ma'am, and like I was saying, I was just wanting to and turn a records request you, in was all. I already all. told you before you walked over there and wrote it all down. We don't take them here. That's very strange. Uh, 
But okay, so I'll you accept. You can call it strange. You can call it whatever you want. We can't take them here. You have to go under 200 Texas Street to the city secretary. I'm, like I said earlier, I think it's pretty strange that the marshal's you office is giving people false information. Sir, I'm just telling you our procedures. You, you got a copy, copy of your procedures you can give to me? That's what I just told you what my procedure was. You got a copy of it written down you could give me? In your arm. That's where it is. That's where it is. And it says down there at the bottom of it where you can take it to. Now, so you just pick up the records request from here and then you got to bring it to a separate location to turn it in. Or you can do it on with the pay, other paper that I gave you by submitting an email request. Okay. Yeah, this is the first time I've did a records request somewhere and then they asked me to take it somewhere else to turn it in. That's beyond my control, sir. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go turn this in to this address then. I was under the impression I could file it here. And there you have it, folks. In Fort Worth, they'll just completely refuse your right to information. And they don't even take the time to read what you've requested on the paper. There were several things I was requesting. None of it was even looked at. But I also took it to City Hall, y'all. And uh, I ran into a frequent flyer on the page. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments. Smash that thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.